Hello YouTube, welcome to another tutorial on Linux kernel. Um, now we're going to be talking about Linux module programming and uh, we'll get into what a Linux module is. A Linux module is a piece of code that is able to be inserted into the uh, Linux kernel or removed from the Linux kernel at runtime. Uh, the, the Linux kernel is one monolithic uh, static binary that is r running uh, when the computer is booted and it has many functionalities but to make the Linux operating system more flexible and more dynamic uh, you're able to add more functionalities to the um, Linux kernel so that you don't have to rebuild the entire kernel from scratch and then subsequently having to reboot reboot the operating system after recompiling and rebuilding so for example if you plug in a new device you don't have to rewrite the entire operating system from scratch uh, just to add a new functionality to recognize your device instead what you can just do is write a module and insert it when you're using the device and then uninstall un uh, the module when you're done with it so that's one of the benefits of the Linux module. Now let's talk about how that works. Basically, you have the kernel. That's one big, massive binary program that's running and making the communication between your computer and the hardware. And then you recognize that you want to have a new functionality that's added to your kernel by, for example, having that device you just created and you want to be able to talk to your device from the computer. How you do this is by writing a module and then after you write the module and compile it, you use a command called insert mod to take this module and insert it into the kernel. By using insert mod, it calls a method inside of the module called initiate mod and that tells it to start injecting this module that you just created into the kernel. And then next, the module does whatever it needs to do, like reading to the uh, device, writing to the device, and whatever other special operation that needs to be done. The device would be over at this end. And then when you're done with the module, you use remove mod to take the module out of the kernel and it takes it out. One of the things that you may have noticed I use register capacities capabilities and uh, on register capabilities what that does is basically when the module is inserted into the kernel it gives the kernel a whole bunch of descriptive information telling it what type of module it is what it's able to recognize read what it can do so that's what registering and unregistering capabilities is all about. Join me in another tutorial and we'll talk more in detail about how to write uh, the module and what it looks like and also how to compile it. As always, please subscribe and rate this video and any comments uh, will be much appreciated. Till next time.